All right, going for the articulated stonefly here. One of these kind of guys. Start off with one. Uh, these are size eight egg hooks. Work pretty good. For the tail hook, take some of this rubber leg stuff and peel off one that's three uh, bands thick. Measure off the tail. A couple wraps, then just pop that out. Get your three tails. Not anatomically correct. Just wrap that up. Snip her off. That's it for the back hook. And I take and string these on this braided, uh, this is 65, but it's important thing is that it's braided so that when you tie it on, you'll see in a second that we get a good grip on it so it doesn't slip off. And I usually just tie a bunch of these and string them on one. So we'll get another hook in here. And we'll take and snip off one of our butt sections. Get some thread started. I just take and lay that with the loop right before the bend. Do a loose wrap and then a few good ones on there. You gotta use some pretty fun strong thread too. This is 2210 denier. Like a 3 odd. Gotta leave enough room for the eyes up there but fold the back and that's the key to keeping these things together so you can really tug on this back one and it's not gonna come off. This is a, just a piece of bead chain eye. Tie that in with a few figure eights right in the front. Then for the wing case, come in with some Swiss straw. Just tie that right to the back. And for the body, I just use, you could use chenille. I just use this big old thing of yarn. Just brown yarn. A couple good wraps of that. Then just twist it a few times to the front for the body. Cut that off. Then for the legs, I like to just trim a piece of good webby schloppen. Just trim the tip off. You could wrap this too, but for production this works a little better. Measure out your legs about like that. Lay them kind of on top, and then when you come with your fingers, kind of roll them in so that they're pushed to the two sides. And that way, when you put your wrap on, you get hackle coming off the two sides. Snip that off. Let's get that ready for the next fly. Then fold the wing case between the hackles. A couple wraps behind, a couple wraps in front of the eyes. Fold it back. Snip it off. and finish. Then you get this nice little wiggle bug. Do another one here so you can see all the steps again. First hook, rubber tail, Try not to, it doesn't really need to get stretched, just loose so keeps a little thickness to it and it's not strained on there.
Ba bam. Tie these with a few different kinds of materials, a couple different looks, kind of the dragonflies, little fatter bodies, kind of a mayfly type ones, and then the stonefly like we just did. Blacks and browns. Wiggle bugs. That's what they're called on eBay. You can get them there if you don't feel like tying them yourself. Or check out my website, adamsflies.com. Thanks for watching.